Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your number of FPS in the new Call of Duty Black Ops 4 game. Uh, we will start with uh, the in-game menu and all the graphic parameter that we need to change. And after that, I will show you the config file because you can change more stuff in it and you will gain even more FPS. So first of all, make sure that you're playing this game at full screen. I see a lot of instability right now with the beta, so make sure that you're using full screen. Uh, also, make sure your refresh rate match your screen. So if you have like something like 144 Hertz use this setting here if you have 60 make sure that you are at 60 uh, resolu Resolution and render resolution this one um, is Kind of the last resort if after all the changes that I will show you you're still not getting your 60 You will probably need to lower your resolution to something like 720p and even touch your render resolution this one is a bit tricky because you will see that your image quality decrease a lot and you will see some blurriness and also some pixel so don't go under 90 with this one okay make sure you don't go under that 90 because after that you will see that the games pretty much sucks also vertical sync make sure make sure that it's at off you want to unlock your fps you don't want also input lag uh, and gameplay frame rate limit make sure that you're using unlimited after that, you can also change the menu frame limit. That's a pretty cool uh, option. Me, it's at 60. I don't really care, even if my screen is 144. But honestly, it's a cool option that they put there. So they kind of think about PC gamer. So you can change it if you want. If you have like a higher refresh rate screen, uh, you can change, change it over there. So let's talk about graphic settings. So first of all, texture. For texture quality and texture filtering quality, this one depends on your VRAM usage. So if you have something like 2 gig and more, uh, you can probably use something like I and very high. Just use your VRAM usage and make sure that you're not maxed out and you should be fine over here. Special effect, this one, uh, I saw a couple of improvement, uh, 2 to 3 FPS for each bracket. So for sure, if you have a low-end uh, computer, integrate video card and stuff like that, just put this one at very low. You want performance because you're playing Mills player and you want, you know, you want FPS. So this one is uh, very important for you. But me on my 1070, I don't have any issue with it. So I'm going to stay that high. Model quality, same thing. You can get uh, some FPS here, 1 to 2 FPS for each bracket. So again, low-end computer, just go either low and you will gain a couple of FPS. Screen space reflection, remove this one from the game. Honestly, I got like 3 to 4 FPS just to remove it. So uh, this one, make sure that you're removing it. This one is the big part. Here, I don't know why. Each time I reboot my game, the dynamic shadow going at all. Anyway, um, so shadows and lighting. Make sure that shadows is at low. For each bracket, I'm getting 3 to 4 FPS. So very high to low, I was getting like 15 FPS. That's crazy. So make sure that your uh, shadow quality is at low and also dynamic shadow. You want to put this one at off. Really important. After that, uh, anti-aliasing quality. This one is a bit tricky because if you remove anti-aliasing in the game, you will see all the objects are kind of like breaking. So here they're telling you for each bracket which one you're gonna use. So for low-end computer, just put very low, you will use some FXAA, it's it's the base, but still, you it's a bit, it's okay when you're playing a multiplayer game, because if you remove it, you will see that stuff are kind of moving in your screen, and sometimes you can think like, oh, is it a player who's just like, was moving over there in the window or whatever. So uh, this one, just put this at very low. After that, MBN inclusion quality, remove this one. I really don't like this effect on the FPS. And also you're getting a bit of FPS. Same thing with motion blur. You're not getting like a lot of FPS, but those effects, I don't think it's really good when you're playing a, um, an FPS, uh, uh, an online multiplayer FPS. Motion blur, you can see it's the blurriness when you move left to right. I really don't like this effect, so just remove that one. After that, this one I didn't see any improvement. It's it's a bit weird. I try on and off. I'm getting almost the same amount of FPS. So maybe you should just test it. But me on my side, I didn't see any improvement with this one. After that, uh, you need to find the config file in the game. So just go in the drive that you install the game. For me, it's the D drive, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Go to player and after that, open the config file. In the config file, you will have all the setting that you change inside of the game and you will have even more. 
the good thing about it they're saying like lower number or higher quality they're, they're telling you what is what the number are doing so it's a bit weird here because it's kind of the opposite of the majority of the game normally like four is very high three is like high and stuff them is zero is very high so make sure that you don't fuck up the the file because sometimes it's it's reverse okay so the only thing that i can tell you right now that you can change uh disable dynamic light shadow put this one at zero disable dynamic sun shadow put this one at zero fx shadow put this one at zero so with those one you will gain more fps also if you want you can change the resolution texture size of your shadow uh, this is a bit less resort because honestly after all the change that I showed you you should be fine with your 60 FPS and uh, Yeah, for the rest of it you can look at it if you want to change more stuff But uh, the majority of the change that you will make here are in the game uh, With a couple of exceptions, but uh, yeah, you should be fine for for the rest So uh, that's about it guys if you have any question just comment in the YouTube section, please with your uh, CPU, RAM, and GPU, and tell me what kind of problem that you have. And I will try to help the best that I can. Thank you very much, guys. Peace.